Thank you for visiting our online permitting tutorials. This video tutorial will cover online permit forms and required submittal items, which is step one of our permitting process. Let's begin going to the Community Development webpage. Once you've arrived at our webpage, you can go up to the second menu item over to Forms and Brochures, the drop down menu select online permit forms which is the second item down click on that and it's going to take you to the online permit forms page now we have all the categories listed here of the different permits we have in order to open these category menus just click on this plus sign and do the same in order to close it and you'll want to look for which category your permit will fit today we're going to demonstrate a residential permit so we're going to open this one and scroll down and look for the single family residence and we'll click on this link here it's going to open our online permit form at the top of each of our online permit forms are steps to follow for our permit process section number one these are your required submittal items and based on which permit type you are applying for, these submittal items along with the information you will see on this form will be different. But section one, these are all the items that you want to ensure that you have electronically saved onto your computer or thumb drive before you go to apply for your online permit in the online permit center. Our forms are fillable PDF forms, meaning that you're able to answer questions right here on this document, and it uses conditional logic. So for example, number three, site plans, would you like to see the helpful hints? If you say yes, it's going to show you all the commonly missed items on our site plans. If you say no, it's going to go ahead and hide that. Same thing with number four. Down here with sewage and disposal, same idea. If you choose on-site septic, it's going to show you the items that you need to submit based on on-site septic requirements. Same if you were to choose existing sewer. It's slightly different information. So we're going to go ahead and fill out the information on this form. Number eight and number nine are links to our worksheets, so you'll need to go access those and fill those out. Section two on this form is our stormwater information. So you would go to this worksheet, fill this out, and it would determine how to choose the next option. So select the drainage review type. Well, I filled out the worksheet, and for this option, I have no additional requirements. So it's going to tell me that I have to turn in the stormwater worksheet. That is one, my one submittal item for this section, which I've already filled out up here. Section number three, submittal questions. So these would be additional items that you may have to submit based on how you answer the questions. So are you the owner of the property? If you say no, it's going to tell you that you need a letter of authorization. If you say yes, nothing more. So we'll go ahead and fill these out. This last section here for submittal requirements are additional reports that may be required based on site conditions. Here's some fee information. Most of this is very specific to our single family residence permit. So we're going to just view right here how to pay. There's options electronically, so you can do an electronic check for a $1 flat fee. All major credit cards are accepted online. There is a third party convenience charge. Uh, and of course, you can come into our office still and pay cash, check, cashier's check. Now, section number four is our project information. So this very first one is your email address. And you want to make sure you enter in the email address that you want this form sent to. Because once we complete it, we are going to go ahead and email it to ourselves and electronically save it. Right here I'm going to enter my parcel number and I do want to note that every question that has a red asterisk by it 
those are questions that you will have to fill out. It won't let you through the application unless you fill those out. So I did my homework and it had my parcel number ready, but if you need help locating your parcel number, we do have these helpful hints along here. So if you say yes, it will tell you exactly where to go to locate our parcel search. And then you just keep answering the questions that are applicable to um, your specific permit form. So you'll just go through the project information section and fill out all the applicable things to your project. And I've gone through and filled out some of these so we can take a look. Building square footage, so this would be the different sections of your home for this uh, permit type where you just enter in the square footage for each area. Utilities and road approach information, selecting what's applicable. And we do have some mandatory fields right here. We do have some areas in which we are just providing information, so make sure you read because they are helpful and important notes for you to see. Lender information, if it does exceed the 5,000, you can provide lender contact information right there. On many of our online permit forms, we have brochures or other documents linked for your reference to help guide you through the rest of the form. Um, so for instance, on this one, Residential Setback Brochure 47, this will help you uh, write in your setbacks here. So I'll go ahead and enter those in. So now we're to the very last section, additional contacts. So the primary contact is you, whoever's filling out the form here on the online permit form as well as on the online permit center. But if you do want to have additional contacts on your permit, such as contractors, architects, engineers, or homeowners, this is where you can add that in. If you say yes, this is where you'd enter in the contact information here. And now that we've come to the end, we have two options here. We have the save function. You can do this any time along the way. And what this will do, the email address that you provided above, it's going to send you a link to the in progress online permit form. So then you can click on that link and go back and continue editing and finishing your form. If you're complete and everything is done with your online permit form, this would be the option you want to go email me my completed online permit form and since we're all finished with ours we're going to go ahead and select this option so click on this button here and as you can see it kicks you up to the top thank you for filling out the single family residence permit form an email with your completed form was sent to the email you provided next step is to go to the online permit center to begin your online application and upload prepared submittal items so now we're going to go ahead and go to our email box and see if we've received our online permit form. Here's my email box and you can see the very top one, Kitsap County Department of Community Development, Single Family Residence. So right here is your attachment. So you can either right click and save it this way or you can go ahead and click on it twice which opens the document so you'll see your completed form here and then we're going to go ahead and save. So we'll do save as, we'll go into our desktop, you can choose wherever you'd like to, and I'm going to say Marshall Home per Form, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and it's going to save my PDF on my form. And now we can go ahead and look at our form again, make sure we have all the steps correct, so we've accessed and completed the form and saved it onto our computer. Now we're going to review it, make sure, identify and gather all required submittal items from our PDF. So this would be when you would want to go to your required submittal items and go gather your site plans, construction plans, sewage disposal information from the health department, energy code worksheet and stormwater worksheet. So you want to ensure that you have all of those electronically saved before you go on to step number four which would be going in and logging into the online permit center and beginning your online application.
one note, if you do not receive the email of your completed online permit form, make sure to check your junk or spam mail and if you still don't see it, please give us a call. Once you have all your submittal items saved onto your computer or on a thumb drive, go ahead and access our online permit center right here. And we do have two video tutorials, one to set up an online permit center account because you do need an account in order to apply for your permit. And the second one being to actually apply for your permit. So please see our other online video tutorials. Thank you for visiting our online permitting video tutorials. Please let us know how we can help you along the way.